Hey there, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. In today's video, we are giving our master bedroom a definite refresh. Because our master closet mostly functions as a storage and crafting space, we needed to utilize some more of our bedroom for clothes storage. So we recently purchased these two dressers to store mostly all of Juan's clothes, some of mine, and to store some other frequently used items. So I'm starting off by vacuuming out the drawers, and then I will get to organizing Juan's dresser first. For those of you who are not new to my channel, you might have noticed that we rearranged our room. Originally, we had our bed against the wall between the two windows, but Juan really wanted to arrange the room the way the model homes had it styled. While I think the room feels bigger this way, I kind of miss our old setup because of the symmetry and because the air from the vent blew right on our faces at night, which was really refreshing during the hot months. Moving on, we are going to be organizing my dresser. In the bottom two drawers, I figured I would store a lot of our excess party supplies since we have pretty much run out of all storage space in the kitchen. In the top drawer, I am storing a lot of my sensory play items and after filming, I have added some more kids activities to the middle right drawer of the dresser. I kept the remaining two drawers on the left to store my clothes as well as some filming and miscellaneous items. Moving on, we will be refreshing the bed. I would like to thank Bedlore for sponsoring this portion of today's video. They sent us this waterproof mattress pad. It is 100% waterproof, highly breathable, noiseless, machine washable, and protects against bacteria and fights off dust mites. This really came at the perfect time since I recently had to throw away our other mattress protector because it was essentially disintegrating. In addition to the mattress protector, you also get a mesh laundry bag, which for me was unexpected, but definitely a pleasant surprise. I love these things. They are perfect for washing socks, so you can just throw them in when they're dirty, wash the bag, and you don't have to really like find socks out of all of your other laundry when you're ready to fold. The deep pocket feature of the mattress cover fits mattresses as thick as 18 inches and has strong 360 degree elastic bands that provide full protection against shifting. The mattress cover is machine washable at up to 130 degrees Fahrenheit, can go in the tumble dryer on a low setting, and does not contain any chemical substances that are harmful to the body. So I will be washing and drying this before refreshing our bed. Again, I would like to thank Bedlore for sponsoring this portion of today's video and providing us with some well-needed mattress protection. So since there was space in the washer, I figured I would wash our comforter and decorative pillow covers as well. It's been a while since I've washed these and they were in well need of a refresh. I just can't let you go. Lord knows that I've tried to You said I was the only one No one likes being like to You made this mess and left me with the pieces Now I wanna burn all the bridges between us
So now that the bed is mostly made, it is time to recover our down comforter. One trick to doing this quickly that I learned online was to turn the cover inside out and tie each of the corners of your comforter to the little strings of the cover. Then you want to roll it up as if you were making cinnamon rolls from the non-zipper side to the zipper side. Next, you fold the cover over your cinnamon roll and zip up the cover and then unroll your comforter, which is now right side out. Let me know in the comments if you use this trick or if you do something different to cover your comforter. Next, we will be organizing the piles of junk in my bedroom. I wish it was as easy as snapping my fingers, but that really wasn't the case. I spent many hours over the course of an afternoon and evening and even the next day sorting through everything and finding where everything belonged. This was how I left my room in the evening because it was getting late and the next day I finished going through everything. Once that was done, the only things left to do were refresh my whiteboard calendar and vacuum my room. It's like I can't walk on the ceiling Oh yeah Got me dreaming Driven in colors I never dreamed Oh yeah I let you in deeper than I let anyone else before Fell in love with my broken pieces Took them all and made them yours Didn't know what my heart be needed Skipping out and all It's sad that how, after only a year and a half of living in this house, we already have parts of our carpet that are extremely worn. I guess that will be an upgrade to look forward to in the future. If you have any recommendations of very soft, cushy carpet that doesn't go bad, let me know. Anyways, I'd like to thank you for coming along on this bedroom refresh. If you are new here, I'd like to invite you to subscribe and stick around. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I'll catch you in the next one. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.